Okay, so you're probably going to think this is a terrible idea, and honestly, you're probably right, but I think this could actually work. I've been dropshipping for about six years now, and even though dropshipping has proven to be very lucrative, there's always been this nagging problem with it. You see, I'm mostly dropshipping from websites like Walmart onto eBay. The problem is, my listings look exactly the same as every other listing for the same product. So of course, I always wish there was a way to make my listings look different, to make them stand out, to make them look special. Now, we do have ways of doing that by changing up the title to make it better, but still, my images look exactly the same as everyone else's. So I would love to find a way to get brand new images for my listings that no one else is using. But short of shipping the product to myself and then taking photos of it at my house, that was never really possible. But now, it might be. This is Midjourney. It's one of the most popular programs available to help you create AI-generated art. Now, if you've never used it before, at its core, it's pretty simple to use. It actually integrates directly with Discord, which is where you're going to ask it to create images for you. So for instance, here, I asked it to create a photograph of Paul dropshipping at 14,000 feet. Now, it doesn't know who Paul is, so it just made up a person that it thinks is Paul, or looks like a Paul but it does show them drop shipping at 14,000 feet. So you can use this to create images of anything that you want. So I think you see where I'm going with this. Today we're going to see if it's possible and if it's ethical to use Midjourney to create new product images for our eBay listings. To start out, let's use a very simple example. We're gonna start with this three shelf bookcase that's available on Walmart that a lot of people drop ship onto eBay. Now, if I go over to Midjourney and just ask it to create a photo of a bookshelf for me, it's gonna create something that looks like this. Yes, this is a bookshelf, but it doesn't look anything like this bookshelf. So if we want it to actually create something that looks more like this, we gotta get specific with it. We gotta tell it it's a three shelf bookshelf, we got to tell its dimensions, we got to say that's made of rustic oak and what kind of material it's made of. That's all the information we have to send to Midjourney. Now unfortunately, unless you're a Midjourney expert or have some experience with it, it can kind of give you a lot of wacky results if you don't know exactly how to tell it what you want. So to help us out with this, to make this a lot easier for us, we're actually going to have ChatGPT help us. So you wanna start a new chat with ChatGBT and tell it the following is a mid-journey formula. Give it this formula, I'll have this down below, and then do you understand the formula? It will say, yes, it does. So now, if we give it information about this product on Walmart, it will create a prompt for us, the prompt that we then send to mid-journey. So for instance, for this one, I'm going to copy the title of it, and I'm going to say to ChatGPT, create a prompt for paste in the title, and then let's give it some more information about this product, because the title alone is not enough. It just says a three shelf bookshelf with adjustable shelves, rustic oak, but I also need to give it its dimensions. So let's copy the dimensions, which are here. So I'll say that is, then give it dimensions, and what else might be important, like the material that's made of. So I'll copy that and I'll put that in here as well. That's made of, and then paste in the material. And I think for now that's enough. If we don't get the results that we want, we can try to get more specific. So I'll send that to chat GPT and it's spitting out the prompt for us. All right, I'll copy that down and I'll come over to mid journey and I'll start out with the prompt imagine which is always how you have to start, and I'll paste in that text and click enter. And we'll just wait a minute. Okay, so these are the results that we got, four different images that we can choose from. So if you come back to the actual image of the product on Walmart, we see that down here at the bottom, there's no sort of gap down here. And this one, the first one does have a gap, so that one's out. But the other three look really good to me. It really looks a lot similar to this one, Not perfect though, the color 
is a bit off. So now we're gonna try to adjust it, try to get that color to match a bit better. The dimensions are obviously there because we put in dimensions. It's the right number of, of shelves as well. I mean, this alone is pretty good. It's just, it's just this color is a bit off. So let's come down here, see if it says more information about the color. It says black oak wood grain finish, but that's the other, maybe it's, Maybe that is right, actually. So maybe we gotta throw that in there, the black oak wood grain finish. Let's throw that in there and see if that helps. So I'll go ahead and copy the text that we did. We'll just modify it a bit. This time I'll say, imagine, throw that in, and then copy the wood grain finish, even though it's not true. Oh, you know, this actually, has, oh no, okay. So we'll throw that one in there. It says in with black oak wood green finish. And let's click enter and see what it comes up with. All right, so here are the newest results. These two on the right are out because they have that gap at the bottom, but these two right here look really good. That looks really, really close to this one right here. So I think those two are a winner. I mean, those two are images that we could use as our images on eBay, and they would be really close to the one that's being sold right here on Walmart. So I'm pretty happy with that. But that's a pretty simple item to sell. Let's actually look at one that's a bit more complicated. So if we look at this one right here, it's like this wall art of these metal birds. What I found is that these ones just don't tend to do that well when you're trying to remake them on Mid Journey, unless I guess if you're really, really good at Mid Journey. So let me show you exactly what I mean. I'll come over to ChatGPT. I'll say create a prompt for, I'll throw in that title. And what other information can we give it? Does it have like, even like the dimensions, the size? I'll throw that in there as well, sized, and the color is black, right? So throw black color. So that's the prompt, I'll copy that down, come over to Mid Journey, let's plug it in. And these are the results that I got. I mean, as you see, this is nothing like this one at all. It's just way off, and to get from this to this, again, it's gonna be possible, but you have to have a lot deeper understanding of mid-journey and how to get out of it specifically what you want. It's gonna be a lot more of, of an advanced kind of item to make. So for that one, that's why I say that for these more complicated ones, it's just not going to work that well. But here's another one that I had made on mid-journey. This is the item on Walmart. It's this other bookshelf, coincidentally. And you can see here on Mid Journey, the one that it actually came up with after a little bit of fiddling around is really good. Like that is a close, close match. And honestly, this photograph that it produced, I think looks so much better than the one given by Walmart. It really pops, there's great lighting with it, great kind of showcasing of how the product can be used. And I think this would be a great main image to use on eBay over the stock one that's given to you by Walmart. Let's try another one here. I wanna try this table right here. Again, this is a very generic sort of item, nothing too complicated going on. So we'll try this one. I will go copy the title, come over to ChatGBT and say, create a prompt for, there's the title. Let's throw in some information about the dimensions. That is, there are the dimensions and anything else here that would be important. It has the color already, black oak, four legs. Obviously for a table is gonna have four legs, but I think that's probably enough. So let's see. And it gave us a prompt. Unfortunately, it did take out the dimensions, which it does sometimes. So I'll just add that back in by coming over here to Mid Journey, saying imagine, pasting that, and then we'll re-grab the dimensions and throw those in there. Right here, the desk is, throw that in there. And these are the results that we got. Now these bottom two, I think look excellent. The top two obviously don't work because if we come back to Walmart, we see 
the legs look completely different on those ones. But these bottom two, these might be the best ones that we've come up with today on Mid Journey. That is very, very accurate to what you're getting here. Now, another trick is once you find one that you really like, like I think I really like this, this one right here, number three, even number four is good, but we'll do number three. I can click V3 and then it's going to make that same image again, but just like slight variations. So that will give us the opportunity to have more photos that we could add to our eBay listing as long as they, they do work out good. And so results are, I mean, actually all these look pretty much the same. So, I mean, you could use these, but it's just kind of going to be the same thing. So I want to try just a little bit more here because I'm actually having a little bit of fun with this. I'm going to capture the original text. I'm just going to modify it a little bit so we can get like a different angle on here. So the it says right here, the photograph is taken at an angle. So I want to say the photograph is taken straight on. So we can try to get that image instead, or that angle instead. So this wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I, I wanted something that was more straight on with the table, but using that prompt did give me a different angle. It kind of went from the other side. So I'll take that, you know, that's something else we could use one of these two to kind of give it a bit of a different angle from the original one. And that way we have a whole bunch of different angles of this table that we could use for our eBay listing. Now, just because this works doesn't mean it's a good idea. There's definitely an ethical question here. After all, we're going to be showing customers images that aren't an exact photo of what they get. It's just like a representation of what they're ordering. But on the other hand, that's exactly what stock images are in the first place. So maybe to help us make sense of this, let's actually look at eBay's photo policy itself to see if this is allowed. So the policy says that the following are not allowed. Photos that don't accurately represent the item, placeholder images that convey messages, stock photos when they're used for used, damaged, or defective items, so they are allowed for new items, photos with borders, photos with edit text, and photos with watermarks. But that's it. And I would actually argue that the mid-journey images we created actually do abide by all of these policies as long as they're made accurately. And even though these aren't photographs of the exact item that the customer is buying, that's the case for a lot of items sold on eBay. That's in fact the point of stock images. It shows a sample of the item at its best to try to convince customers to buy that item. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below if you think this is a good idea or a really bad one. Personally, I'm not telling you to do this, so don't come after me if you get in trouble with eBay for this. But honestly, I think it's a pretty cool idea.